Welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going to share with you how to get some demonstration content for your development version of a theme that you're creating. Reason why you need this is you kind of want to see how the website will flow and fill out as you're developing the theme. All right, so I'm going to go into the dashboard real quick and just show you that currently it's just a default installation. There's no posts except for the default posts and the default pages in here. So the first thing I recommend is to trash these because when we import the demo content, you don't want to have these in there cluttering up your database. So that's trashed. We'll go to post. We're going to trash this one as well. And make sure you empty your trash. All right, so you go to the front of the site and you see there's nothing there. Just a very basic default installation. All right, so what you should do next is go to the codex.wordpress.org forward slash theme underscore unit underscore test. And this is the theme unit test data that you can use. It's an XML file uh, in order to have some demonstration content on your uh, website. So what you would do is you would go here, click on this. You can right click it, open a new tab, or you could just directly click on it. It'll bring you this file, it's an XML file. So what I want you to do is right click again and then save as, and then you're going to save it in the location that you choose. It'll download to that location. All right, so what you'll do now is you're gonna go back to your dashboard, you're gonna go to tools, import, and then you're gonna go down to where it says WordPress. You're gonna install the WordPress importer plugin. You're gonna run the importer, and then you're gonna choose a file. You choose that file that you just downloaded, open it, upload file and import. And then you need to get this screen over here. So what you should do here is just assign all these um, items to your user account and then make sure you click on this download and import file attachments. It'll run through the process. This can take some time. So just give it some time to do what it needs to do. Once the import of the XML file is completed. You're going to get this uh, presentation screen here saying the import WordPress all done have fun. So now you can visit the front page of this site and you're going to see you now have the content imported that you can play around with. And it gives you an, an opportunity to see how your website will flow when you have content on it. And this is very important to have. So if you go back to the dashboard, and you take a look at all the posts, you're going to see you have all these posts that are there. And then the same thing goes for pages. You have all the pages there as well. And then if you go to media library, you're going to see that you have some images brought in as well. So you have your post, your images and media files, and your pages. And I believe you should have some comments as well. Yes, you do. You have some comments here as well that you can see how they would be presented on your website based on your theme styling. So this is a very good uh, tool to use. It can be found on the codex.wordpress.org forward slash theme underscore unit underscore test uh, location. If you put that in your browser, you'll find you get presented with this page and you can get some more information about what it does. It's very handy when you're developing a brand new theme, you know, because it gives you the ability to ensure that your customizations to the theme will be presented well when a person uses it on their WordPress powered website. All right. So the theme unit test data is a handy tool to use. You will just go to that URL. And then once you do that, you go to tools, import. We already have the WordPress importer plugin installed and you can see it here wordpress importer it imports the post pages comments custom fields categories tags and more from a wordpress export file all right so you see this importer it does exactly as it needs once you do the import you can just deactivate and then delete the plugin because there'll be no need for it any longer and now it's gone and then that does not remove your content it just removes the plugin. Your content stays there because now it's imported. All right, this is a handy way to, to use demo, demonstration content. You could also use this if you want 
to export a file and let me show you how to do that you can go to tools export and then you can choose all content on your live production website if you wanted you could use this feature to download an export file and then it'll download very similar content that you have on your your website or the post the pages the uh, media files and etc and then you would have that XML file that you can then upload or import into a local development version of your website now you would have to do some search and replace you know for URLs that might be broken or some other issues that you may have to resolve but you can definitely use this as a way to uh, try out your uh, customizations locally before you push them out to a live website all right hopefully you found this episode helpful where we went over how to get the theme unit test data for your next wordpress theme that you're looking to develop hopefully you found it useful if you did give us a thumbs up and if you have any thoughts ideas or suggestions leave them down in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next episode take care Thank you.